Nam mai hori mai ki tēnei wā whaka aro aro. Let's take this time to pause and reflect. Find some peace amongst the busyness of exams, the stress of studying, to be still and relax. This is a regular practice at Scots, and especially in this time, let's prioritise peace, if only for a short while. Soon we'll have a Bible reading, and then I'm going to invite Nella and Gregor to share their thoughts around exams. But first, let's be still and calm. Relax, reflect, and hear these words. Kia ora whanau, it's Mr Giffen with a reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 28. Be cheerful no matter what. Pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens. This is the way God wants you, who belong to Jesus Christ, to live. Don't suppress the spirit and don't stifle those who have a word from the master. On the other hand, don't be gullible. Check out everything and keep only what's good. Throw out anything tainted with evil. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. Put you together, spirit, soul and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he'll do it. Friends, keep up your prayers for us. Greet all the followers of Jesus with a holy embrace. And make sure this letter gets read to all. Don't leave anyone out. The amazing grace of Jesus Christ be with you. Lovely to see you, Gregor and Ella. Um, and so th- thank you so much for sharing with us in this time. I'm hoping that we can have a bit of a chat about exams because people listening, uh, when this comes out, will be either studying or sitting exams. So mm-hmm. they need they need yep. just a little bit of rest amongst yeah. all that stress. You guys will know what it's yeah. like, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so maybe, who wants to go first? Who wants to answer the first question? No. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, tell me. <laughs> Far away. Tell me. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling about exams? I'll just let yes. people know we're recording this before. Before exams. So yeah, you're not sitting in an exam right now. But how are you feeling with no. them coming up? Um, I'm feeling okay. I mm. think as a level three student, there's not as much pressure to do well in exams as there can be for level twos. Mm. Is that um, because you did well in level two? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, 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 yeah. you have to do well in level yeah, two yeah, yeah. to kind of get lazy in level three. Um, but there's not as much there's not as much pressure in level three, so I'm feeling okay. Yeah. But there are still some things like if you get a scholarship, you have to maintain your grades um, to then be eligible for that scholarship when it comes out. Mm. So, you know, still trying to do well, still putting that pressure on myself. But I'm, um, you know, just realizing that NCA, although it's an important part of secondary school, next year I'll be in uni and I'll be thinking back to this time of year and I'll realize. I was so stressed out about these exams, but now I'm in uni and none of that matters anymore. It's such a temporary thing, the yeah. stress that I'm experiencing. So, yeah. new, new pressures coming exactly. in a year's time. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just trying to put it all into perspective. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Gregor? Yeah, I'd say I'm the same as that. Um, about the the new pressure in perspective, and you know, I, sometimes I get too stressed about it and then I have to think well in the, not even a year's time and in just like a month or two's time then, um, but at the same time I don't know for me I feel a little bit more stressed about the NCA level 3 than I did about level 2 uh, partly because overseas they just look at your NCA level 3 oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. and for NZ they look at level 2 um, so I, I guess both were just equally as stressful. Um, <laughs> uh, we worked through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, is it a motivating stress or is it a... Yeah. It's not, yeah, I guess. yeah, it definitely is a motivating stress. Um, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's tricky. It's tricky, mm. so, yeah. Do you, Gregor, do you have any... Um, you know, we talk a lot in chapel about pause and reflect. You know, it's that time when people take a breath each um, week at school... Hopefully, if people listen, you know, this recording will go out at a kind of chapel time 
over exams. Yeah. So, you know, Friday afternoon, that's our regular pause and reflect time. Do you have any other rituals or practices or just things you do to decompress at stressful times? Yeah, I actually, I know it sounds super cliche, but I really like going and walking along the front, um, especially during study periods, uh, long study periods, because mm. I find myself just in my room for so long, just monotonously writing notes. And I always, w- when it gets too much for me, then I just go on a walk, go up the hill, come back, and then just get straight back into it because it just clears my mind and then I can go back into it. Or just, just sleep, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like quite a like physical change. You know, doing all this kind of short distance looking at papers exactly. in a confined space then change completely you know everything's yeah. off in the distance and there's no walls confining yeah, you exactly yeah. and uh, no that's exactly it and I, I always try to not take my phone with me as well I know again it sounds cliche but mm. then I kind of I'm out of this technological meta world and I can just kind of uh, appreciate the world around me which is kind of nice right you know do you yeah no I definitely agree with what Gregor said about kind of escaping your study space um because it can be such a confined environment and it gets quite claustrophobic yeah, yeah. and you're you're yeah. there all day thinking about exams and all the stress and that space that you're sitting in is just so connected to those emotions and those like feelings of stress and like exams so i think it's really important to escape that environment and leave the house and just literally do anything go for a walk like yeah. gregor suggested or what I like to do, and I'm not sure if this is um, a, like a mindful ritual and practice or if it's just me procrastinating, but I do like to go out and get a coffee um, just during my study day. Um, it's not very good for my spending habits, but um, <laughs> it, it's nice. It just makes me feel like, you know, I have this energy now and I can get back to my study space and I can get going again and I just feel mm. this new burst of energy because I left the house, I got a coffee and that really helps me. Yeah, yeah. and that, I get that a bit too as well, like sometimes I just want to go for a drive. I just go for a drive and get out of the house and yeah. just do something different. Um, yeah. And for me that's usually enough. Or another thing is for me thinking this time, like if my exam's next Wednesday, I always think, oh, this time next Thursday I will not be thinking about this exam. I don't know, that just mm. motivates me to just yeah. keep going. Yeah. So. Oh, so putting like a time limit yeah, yeah, just yeah. saying, this time next week, it'll be done, yeah. regardless of the result. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's good to just motivate. If I just do it now, this time next week, I'll be resting. Really Which cool. is quite a different attitude from, oh my gosh, I've only got a week to study. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Exactly, to yeah. actually, in a week's time, I'll be free. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, or, oh no, tomorrow's the test day, or, tomorrow's right. the rest day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's about yeah. putting things in perspective. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So that's really really good that kind of motivates me yeah yeah so we kind of touched on it the next question i had was about do you have any rituals around exams so when i did my high school exams mum cooked me breakfast you know that kind of made it a big important you know that was my little marker that this is a big important day that type of do you have any other kind of rituals maybe for exam day or the night before that type of thing mm. yeah. for exam day i always have a banana for breakfast mm. <laughs> um because mum always says it's full of potassium it's really good for your brain it gets you going and i don't know i think it's kind of become a lucky like become mm. like a lucky charm for me just if i have my banana i know i'm gonna do well in exams mm. i know i'm safe um that's a really random one i know um but yeah just little things like that and creating routines for yourself maybe when i'm studying um just like wake up at a reasonable time make myself breakfast and then um know that i can look forward to a break at 12 and then at 12 cook myself some lunch and just having a routine i was, I was laughing at your banana one because <laughs> that's gonna make mine sound really bad my ritual is actually to just have a v beforehand i uh. <laughs> i literally i don't drink much soda or caffeinated drinks like ever I don't really like coffee mm. I, I try it every so often but the one thing I do before exams is have a V mm. so then when I'm in the exam uh, partly I'll be energetic and you know almost shaking because of how energy, <laughs> energetic I am um, but partly just so then my brain's 
focus yeah. rather than mm-hmm. there's something almost around the placebo effect of it eh? like exactly. the taste of a banana the taste exactly. of oh, exam day there's a banana oh I've had yeah. a V like yeah, yeah. you know it does it's it a signal. Yeah, yeah it's a signal game on kind of thing eh? yeah exactly a yeah. little bit like you know putting on the sports uniform like alright time yeah. to actually do the 100%. game right? yeah. yeah this is it yeah I actually yeah no I'd, I'd agree with that and the sports uniform putting on the uniform for me is a bit like game on kind of mm. for me mm. it's like okay it's game day today ready to go out and play so yeah. yeah okay so here's a interesting one always want to just focus on study 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 but how do you strike the right balance how do you know when you need to take a break from study but also how do you know when you need to get back to study like what are the signals for you that you've maybe you're not learning you maybe you're not retaining anything because you've been studying too much and then what's the signal that i'm rested i'm ready to go now i'm ready to go back to it for me i, I don't know i saw this uh youtube video of this guy called ali abdul mm. i don't know if you've heard of him but um and i've been trying to do this lately but he says when you plan for a study schedule most people will plan when they study mm. and he says what might be better is actually plants plan when you break uh, and that way, you know, when you're studying and when you're break. And so then I can get a really clear definition of how much, like, break time I need and, you know, put it in my schedule, that kind of thing. I don't know, that helps me to know how much I need to study and how much I need to break. And also, just that if you're wondering when you've done too much study, I think for me, it's just when my head hurts, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, and when I'm especially, I find this especially with calculus, is that when my thoughts just turn to mush and I just, I can't see one thing from another. And I, I can see how it's mm. done, but I just, it, it doesn't process in my brain. Yeah. And that's when I tell myself, okay, that's enough. Mm. I need to go for a walk. Interesting. No, I admire you for for that because honestly, my thoughts are always mush when it comes to calculus. <laughs> so like, if you have one moment of clarity during calculus, you're much better than me. Um, so good on you. Um, but for me, I know when it's time to start studying, like when I'm taking a break and you, you start to feel really guilty that you're not studying. Mm-hmm. Like you start, you get that feeling of procrastination. And even though you're taking a break and breaks are really important, the break for me comes to a point where I realize, oof, I'm, I've been on this break for a while, I should probably get back. Mm. And you naturally kind of get that stress. So mm. that's how I know I should get back to studying because my brain tells me, Oh, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. you're procrastinating a little bit. Yeah. Um, Although it's hard to break that habit of well, procrastination. It, it, it sounds like what you've got common for both of them is like I'm not benefiting from this study anymore. I need to take a break. You know, it's not mm. sinking in and helping. But then you're kind of saying, actually, when I'm on a break and it's not refreshing anymore, it's just yeah. normal. And then lazy. It, it, yeah, and it it then I get lazy. Yeah. It feels lazy. Yeah. it's yeah. time to get back. So I can't spot how this is helping anymore. Yeah. I need to change what I'm yeah. doing. I, I tell you what, I think um, for me when I'm studying, I always find I always get into that when I just go on my phone. Like, yeah. and they're scrolling through social media, you can lose so much time. Yeah. So what I do is I've got this um this app which is kind of cool, and uh, it's called Tree. And what it is is that you can set a timer and press plant. It's kind of a weird idea, but mm. um, for that amount of time. You can't go on your phone. If you exit the app in any way, then the tree will um, won't die. grow. Yeah, won't won't grow. Die. yeah, will die. Oh. Um, and it's yeah, it's, it's kind of a, oh a cheesy game, but at the same time, it like it helps me. No, I must make this tree grow, and I <laughs> ditch my phone and get rid of it so this tree can grow. And it's a, you know, it's a stupid idea, but at the same time, it's quite neat. And also, the idea is that. Um, if you get like reach a certain level, you can actually plant like a real tree with the money, oh, yeah. there, oh, gosh. Uh, which is quite cool. Uh, and so, and then it also tells you like how long you've studied for today. So that's always a tell for me is whether mm. I've been productive. Is it literally tells you how long you've actually did been I grow studied. a full tree? Yeah, <laughs> it always feels nice. You're like, yeah, oh, I'm doing yeah. something. Right? Yeah, so it's it's quite nice. But yeah, you that's might kind have of... to start growing some trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> Highly recommend the club. tree, <laughs> tree. That's true, I like that. Yeah. Um, we'll put this in the description for the people watching. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. We'll put a link. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, helpful links for study focus in the description. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time and your advice. Um, I hope that you guys go well in your exams and follow your own advice too. Definitely, yeah. we'll try. And for people listening, for I hope us. it's been yeah. um, 
encouraging. Can I ask you uh, to say a little prayer for us uh, and for everyone who's studying and sitting exams at the moment? Yeah. Dear Lord, please help us find the right balance between work and rest. Help motivate us during this challenging time and allow us to find time to connect with friends and family. Help us to look after our own bodies by guiding us to make good exercise and dietary choices. May we always know that we are loved and cared for. Naihu karaiti tomato ariki. Amen. Thanks, Nella and Gregor. All the best with your exams. Let's conclude this time with a prayer. Me inoitata. Guiding God, may we know your presence and love in this time of preparation and examination. Remind us of the need for balance as we undertake this important work. In this coming week, we especially pray for those sitting IB exams in Spanish, physics, maths, history, geography, and computer science. May we all know your peace. O mai tu aroha, me te rangi marie. Amen. Kia tau, kia tato katoa. Te ata fai o to tata ari ki ai hu kiraiti. Me te aroha o te atoa. Me te fifi nga tahi tanga ki te wairu a tapu. I runga i a tato katoa. Ake, ake, ake. Amen.